I'm starting off with a primer first to smoothen my skin and hide my pores. Next I'm applying NYX flat but not matte foundation onto the half part of my face and blending it using my brush. I'm also applying it to my ear and half part of my neck. Next I'm filling in my brow using pomade and a brush. I'm filling my one brow because I'll be glamming up only half a part of my face. To make it look natural, I am running a spoolie brush over it and defining the edges using a concealer. Next I am priming my lids using NYX Eye Primer. I really love using it because it intensifies my shadows and helps them stay crease free. Then I am applying this light transition shade into my crease and blending it out. And then I'm applying a bit darker shade on top of it, making sure that the pigment beneath is still showing up. I really love layering my shadows because it helps in creating flawless transitions of pigments. Next, I'm applying a light blue shimmery shade onto the inner part of my lids and blending it out nicely. And then I'm applying a shade darker onto the center part of my lids and blending the two shades together. I'm also blending the shade into my transition shade so that there are no harsh lines. Next I'm applying this black shadow onto the outer V of my lids and creating a very slight wing using the same. And then I'm using the same brush that I used for my transition shade and slightly blending all the shades into my crease. And then I'm using a smaller brush to highlight my brow bone using the shimmery gold shade. And then I'm using a smaller brush to apply the same shade that I applied on my lids to line my lower lash line. And then I'm lining my lids using this black felt tip liner. Next I'm using this NYX eye pencil in the shade black to line my upper and lower waterline. And then I'm smudging my lower lash line using the same brush that I used before. Next I'm highlighting my under eye area using a concealer and then blending everything using this small brush. Next to set everything, I am using NYX finishing powder in the shade Banana. Then I am slightly contouring the usual places, the hollows of my cheeks, under my jawline and a little bit onto the side of my forehead. And then to make my contour a bit crisp, I am using the same Banana powder using a brush. So I am using a smaller brush to apply my highlighter. Then to finish off my eye makeup, I am applying some fake lashes and some mascara to coat them. Next I am wiping off the center part of my face because I will be applying glue there and then I am tearing up these tissue roll. And then I am applying some tape onto my brows and onto my lashes so that they are not affected by the glue. Now I'm using a brush to apply some non-toxic glue onto my face and I'll be pasting those tissue paper onto it. Now you want to make sure that the tissue edges towards the center part of your face are not sharp because that won't look natural. Then just keep on layering the tissue and glue onto your face until you are happy with how it looks. And once you are happy with the layers, let it dry for some time. 
Next, I'm applying a lighter shade of foundation on top of the tissue layer so that it gets a bit of a tint. And after that, I'll apply the same foundation that I applied onto the other part of my face so that it matches with the skin tone on the other side of my face. Next, I'm trying to conceal the edges using a brush and concealer. Next, I'm using a brush to buff foundation and concealer into the tissue and onto the edges so that it looks seamless. Next, I'm using the tail of a brush to find the arch of my natural brow and then I am drawing fake brow onto the tissue using a brush and pomade. Next, I'm using a concealer to define the edges of my fake brow and also to cover up any of the mess that I have created. Next, I'm pasting a fake lash using regular glue onto the original place of my original lash. I don't know if that makes sense. Next, I'm going to do exactly same eye makeup on to the other part of my face. Next, I'm going to do similar contouring on this side of my face, under my lips, my nose area, sides of my face, hollows of my cheeks and under my jawline. Next, I'm using NYX Lip Liner in the shade Red Tape and lining my lips using that. I'm also going to use it to fill in my lips. And then I'm using this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Amsterdam and applying it all over my lips. And then I'm using a concealer to conceal the edges of my lips. Next I'm applying a little blush onto the apples of my cheeks. Next I'm going to peel off the tissue layer carefully starting from the forehead part moving towards the neck. I'm using a brush as a guide so that it is still attached to the skin by one end which is on the center part of my face. I'm applying some tape at the end of the tissue layer as an extra protector. I'm wiping this part of my face with a dry tissue so that it is free from any of the glue residue or other residue and I'm covering that white tissue paper using foundation. Moving on to the makeup of this part of my face, I am covering my eye contour using dark concealer because I want my eyes to look tired and dull, weak. Then I am just blending a dark concealer onto the nearby area so that it looks natural. Next I am using NYX Extra Creamy Lipstick in the shade Hero and applying it onto the inner corner of my eyes and around my mouth and a little bit under my eyes and then I'm using a brush to smudge it honestly it was very painful for me to do this makeup because there were a lot of feelings involved and I would just like to say to all the people who are suffering just stay strong and you've got just one life and fight for your right and Domestic violence doesn't mean only physical damage. 
it doesn't only means that you are being tortured by your spouse or by your in-laws it can be in any form it can be mental it can be emotional it can be due to your parents due to your brother due to your any of the relative but i just want you to recognize your inner strength and recognize your worth you are worth living on this planet happily and just stay strong and fight for your own self now coming back to the tutorial i'm using nyx lipstick in the shade siren to give my bruises a hint of purple pigment because bruises are more um purplish in tone next i'm applying the same lip shade on to the part where the tissue is connected to the skin so that it looks like it's being ripped off from the skin next i am applying same lip shade in the shade hero and siren on to the side of my neck to create some bruise there and then i'm using my finger to blend the pigment so that it looks natural and the bruise looks like it's real next i'm creating some wound or some bruise on to my forehead and some cuts on to my cheeks then i'm using a red lip peel liquid and applying it on to the wound that i've created on my forehead so that it looks like thickened blood and little bit onto the cuts that i've created on cheeks and that's all <laughs> 